Hey everyone, here for another co-created tapping video. And this time I'm here with my friend, Kimberly Robbie. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Brad. Good to see you. Likewise. So we were talking about what uh, Brene Brown calls FFTs. <laughs> Freaking first times. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and how that makes you feel when, when, we're, when we're trying to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I'd love to tap on this because it's, it's about the, the awkwardness and wobbliness of doing things for the first time and the vulnerability involved in it. But it's, I think it's absolutely crucial to dreaming big and living big and doing things that are outside of your comfort zone. So that's, I'd love to tap on that and just see what comes up. <laughs> we rarely create an amazing life just doing what feels safe and comfortable. <laughs> Exactly. Agreed. All right. Let's do some tapping on that. So go ahead and close your eyes and everyone watching this, go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in and hold it and let it go and go ahead and think about some new thing that you've wanted to do. Something you've been contemplating doing something that you feel would really enhance your life. Maybe it would enhance your business or your uh, finances. Maybe it would just enhance your level of joy. Maybe it would enhance your health. And yet allowing yourself to be aware of that sense of, ah, I'll be wobbly. And that fear that somehow you won't be safe physically or existentially. <laughs> and on a scale of zero to 10, how strong is that, that concern, that, that fear, that resistance? Hmm. Thinking about this specific one now, it's like an eight. Okay. Where in your body do you feel that? In my stomach, in my jaw. Okay. Willing to let that go? Yeah. <laughs> You're here. So. Totally. Let's do it. <laughs> so everybody taking full responsibility for your own well-being. Even though I have this fear of doing new things. Even though I have this fear of doing new things. I choose to love and accept myself. I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I have this resistance to doing new things. Even though I have this resistance to doing new things. I choose to love and honor myself. I choose to love and honor myself. Even though I have this fear of doing new things. Even though I have this fear of doing new things. Because with things that are new. Because with things that are new. I don't have the confidence that I'm going to get it right. I don't have the confidence that I'm going to get it right. I'm kind of confident that I'm going to feel wobbly. <laughs> I'm definitely confident that I'm going to feel wobbly. <laughs> and I might even fall down. I might even fall down. And so I often stop myself. So I often stop myself. And even though I have this fear of doing new things. Even though I have this fear of doing new things. I choose to deeply and completely. I choose to deeply and completely. Love, honor, and accept myself. Love, honor, and accept myself. And maybe anyone else who's taught me to feel this way. And maybe anyone else who's taught me to feel this way. All this fear about doing new things. All this fear about doing new things. All this resistance to doing new things. All this resistance to doing new things. And even if it's something that I've done once or twice before. Even if it's something that I've done once or twice before. But it's still relatively new. It's still relatively new. There's still a level of discomfort. There's still a level of discomfort. That sometimes stops me. That sometimes stops me. And part of me says. But part of me says. Unless I know I can do it perfectly. Unless I know I can do it perfectly. Let's just not bother. Let's just not bother. <laughs> it's not because I'm bad or stupid. It's not because I'm bad or stupid. It's not because I'm weak or lazy. It's not because I'm weak or lazy. It's because I have all this old programming. It's because I have all this old programming. About how it's not cool to not be perfect. How it's not cool to not be perfect. And I should only do things I know I can do perfectly. And I should only do things that I know how to do perfectly. And how am I supposed to know that if I haven't done it before? <laughs> how am I supposed to know that if I haven't done it before? <laughs> and how do I even get there without doing it? <laughs> how do I even get there without doing it? And I love and appreciate those parts of me. 
and I love and appreciate those parts of me. That have so often that have so often stopped me from doing something new. That so often stopped me from doing something new. Thinking that was necessary to keep me safe. Thinking that was necessary to keep me safe. I was just trying to protect myself. Just trying to protect myself. Self-sabotage is misguided self-love. Self-sabotage is misguided self-love. And I love that I love myself so much. <laughs> I love that I love myself so much. <laughs> I can appreciate that part of me. And I appreciate that part of me. That says to me. That says to me. Yeah, I don't know if we could handle this new thing. Yeah, I don't know if I can handle this new thing. We're doing okay as, as we are. <laughs> I'm doing pretty great as we are. <laughs> Let's just stay, let's just stay put. Let's just hang out and stay put. <laughs> but if I was really okay with that. If I was really okay with that. I wouldn't be tapping on my face right now. I wouldn't be tapping on my face with you right now. <laughs> Part of me knows that more is possible. Part of me knows that more is possible. Just like when I was a baby. Just like when I was a baby. And I'd gotten the hang of the whole crawling thing. I'd gotten the hang of the whole crawling thing. But I wasn't satisfied but I wasn't satisfied. I saw other people walking. I saw other people walking. And I thought, I got to try this for myself. <laughs> I thought I got to try this song for myself. <laughs> and I was wobbly. And I was wobbly. And I probably fell down a few times. And I probably fell down a few times. And I was totally cool with that back then. <laughs> and I was totally cool with that back then, I guess. I choose to be more cool with it now. I choose to be more cool with it now. But since then... But since then, I have picked up some unfortunate programming. I have picked up some unfortunate programming. From other people who tried things and fell down. From other people who tried things and fell down. And decided it wasn't worth the effort. Decided it wasn't worth the effort. And figured they'd save me the trouble. And figured they'd save me the trouble. By teaching me not to do things I can't do perfectly. By teaching me not to do things that I can't do perfectly. And they may have had the best of intentions. They definitely had the best of intentions. They were teaching me from their fear. They were teaching me from their fear. And I love and appreciate their loving intention. And I love and appreciate their loving intentions. But I'll be darned if I'm going to stay stuck. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be darned if I'm going to stay stuck. They did the best they could. They did the best they could. And I did the best I could when I was listening to them. And I did the best I could when I was listening to them. And for some reason, and for some reason, my higher self, my higher self <laughs> has decided that I deserve more, has decided that I deserve way more. And I do. And I totally do. I'm a magnificent child of the universe. Yes, I am. I'm a magnificent child of the universe. <laughs> Worthy and deserving of the best this world has to offer. Worthy and deserving of the best this world has to offer. And I'm willing to be wobbly to get there. <laughs> And I'm willing to be wobbly to get there. I can handle it. I can handle it. I can even handle falling down. I can even handle falling down. I've taken on all kinds of new things. I've taken on all kinds of new things. There are so many things that I do on a regular basis. There's so many things that I do on a regular basis. That I hardly even am aware that I'm doing. That I'm hardly even aware that I'm doing. That used to be pretty... <laughs> Yeah, it used to be pretty wobbly. <laughs> I have a way of figuring things out. I have a way of figuring out the wobbliness. <laughs> and moving through it. And moving through it. I don't have to wait. I don't have to wait. Until I know I can do it perfectly. Until I know I can do it perfectly. I get better all the time. I get better all the time. And I can handle the process. And I can handle the process. I'm setting myself free to move forward. I'm setting myself free to move forward. In body, mind, and spirit. In body, mind, and spirit. And take a deep breath. Close your eyes and think about that new thing that, or relatively new thing that you want to take on and feeling that fear and resistance that uh, was there before and notice where it might have shifted. So with uh, what you were talking about, Kimberly, you said it was about an eight, the, the resistance and fear. And what does that feel like now? About a four, five. This okay. was a pretty strong one, Brad. <laughs> okay. No, hey, 
but still you brought it down by almost half mm-hmm. or at least half. Yeah. So that's huge. And, and with so many things that we might do, just that alone can be enough to, to get us to move forward. It's not about, and everyone go ahead and you can keep tapping here. It's not about, you know, well, I'll take action as soon as I have absolutely no fear or resistance to it whatsoever. Uh, I have to talk about the, the scales, tipping the scales and the, you know, there's willpower and there's won't power. <laughs> and if we're not taking actions because the won't power is outweighing the willpower, but if we can get it to where the willpower is at a six and the won't power is only at a four, then we can start taking action. Yeah. And, and, and sometimes with some of these actions, it's not until we take those wobbly actions that we can get to a place of feeling confident. So exactly. Yeah. Great work. Wobbliness to dream big. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Well, cool. I'm, I'm confident it's going to help a lot of people. So thank you very much. Thanks, Brad.